It's Monday morning, April 1st. It's about 11.45, so store hasn't opened yet. I just got here. Uh, Rob's not here. Uh, he may be home because I think, I think everyone's off today, but um, I'm not. I'm here, ready to serve you people. So, I think Connor may be here early. I don't know if he's coming in early or not. School's out today for, for Easter. I don't think I have anything ready to go today, so I guess I just gotta wait to see, see what happens today. So, Rob might be in soon. I don't know. But uh, I guess we'll see. So, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So, hey, it's Monday. Um, getting things rolling here. I know TJ checked in with you. We got Connor and TJ here. So, uh, Connor's on the phone. When he gets off, I'll show you what we got going so far today. Uh, some cool stuff happening today. So, uh, good way to start a Monday. All right, TJ. Hey. I told him we're doing something cool. What are you doing? Uh, I'm looking at Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are we actually going to be doing? Uh, listing this vintage Fender P bass. Vintage, uh, what is this? Amer is this American? Yes. Yeah. American P bass. So yeah, that's going on a uh, reverb today. So TJ's gonna be working on that. Uh, Connor, What's up? doing some spring cleaning. Oh yeah. What are you working on there? It's a Gibson Les Paul amp. It's a 40 watt all two. GA40. So, nice. yeah, it's pretty cool. He's uh, he's knocking the years of filth off of this thing. So that's going to be appearing on a uh, reverb once he gets her cleaned up. Uh, we got also, hey TJ, TJ, can you open this case real quick? So I guess today's Maybe. today's vintage day. It might be upside down. I think it's upside down, which could be my fault. Yeah, upside down. Is it? Yeah. Or I don't know. Open it up. I thought this was. Sure, open it up. We'll, we'll look. That's probably, it probably doesn't matter. So yeah, I've got this old silver tone uh, guitar amp case with an amp built into the case. So that's pretty cool. Input, um, foot switch, your on off, your tubes. To be fair, it currently volume. doesn't work, but we're gonna send it out to the shop to get it fixed up. So we do have the matching guitar. That's ready to go, but we gotta get the amp case working. TJ, you getting the guitar? Get the guitar. Like he's getting the guitar while he's getting that. Um, we're also gonna be dealing with this. Um, we're not really sure what's going on here. Um, there's like some Ampeg stuff happening, a fender handle, Ampeg controls. So uh, this guy's really dirty. Say so we're gonna get into this. Get this guy cleaned up inside what we're doing with it. And then there's that guitar. Brian R. Tech already went over this, knocked the years of uh, nicotine and filth off of it. Looks great. So that'll be selling with, with that case. Got this weird like know, tweed around the side. You're giving me some, uh, What's that stuff they do on online? What, like ASMR? The, yeah. Yeah, I hate ASMR. <laughs> if, you're ever, if you ever catch me doing ASMR, it's, you're not. It's on an old school silver tone. It's on an old school silver tone. All right, so yeah, hey, that's that's what's happening. Um, vintage day here <laughs> and cleaning. So we'll check back in. We'll show you what's clean. All right, so we're back here with Connor. Uh, honestly, I probably should have showed you guys what the inside of this amp looked like prior to him getting in there. Connor, did you take a picture of it? I did. Okay, so maybe we'll have TJ like... Put that in right there. Yeah, yeah. Here, uh, point again. Right there. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's actually amazing what he's done in here. I didn't think he could get it as clean as it is, but uh, he's done a fantastic job. I surprised myself. So uh, <laughs> drop out of high school and clean amps, Connor. You're... You found your calling. But uh, yeah, uh, really cool amps. We're going to get them all up and working and then figure out what to do with them. Connor, mm -hmm. did you want to show us the Gibson? Did that one come out good? Can you see the inside? No. Sir. A little bit. I might have to take this one apart like I did this guy. Sorry to surprise you with all of this. But you're doing such a good job. That's, that's, that's why we're doing this. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it just was a dust and dirt covered, so... Oh, yeah. This one wasn't near as bad as the other one, but great looking guitar amp. It's gonna sound good. So Connor, you're doing a great job, dude. You keep cleaning them up. Uh, Connor and me were just talking about it. It's a little bit of a mystery to us what it is. We're hoping our amp tech can uh, shine some light on it, but it's old. It's probably from like the uh, 60s would be my guess. Definitely. And then with that, you get, I mean, how how many years ago is that? Like eight, 60 Too years? Too many. 70 <laughs> years? A lot of things can happen to stuff in 70 years. But uh, so it has this Ampeg control panel. And like we showed you, a fender handle. So the fender handle could be aftermarket. Could be. 
Um, I'm assuming this is the original control plate. Um, but what's weird to me is this Tolex is very Ampeg. But you can see, I'm assuming this was some kind of like recover. Because if you look under here, there's like a fender style tweed. So it runs all the way down there. So we'll get in there and get to the bottom of it. Get back with you. All right, so update, we did some digging. Um, and apparently this is for sure an Ampeg. Uh, it was Tweed, which I mean, we kind of already knew, but we found some pictures when TJ edits, we're gonna have them drop them in here somewhere. Um, so you'll see them up here, right? Okay. And, uh, Hey, let me show you the front too. Cause you'll see and the picture drops in, you'll see the front. So there you go. Connor cracked the case. Good job, Connor. Thank you, bro. All right, so it's the end of the day on Monday. Monday the I keep saying the wrong day. Um, that's, it's like the third time I've said the wrong day, but I'm trying to make this quick. My phone might die in a second. So, Connor, how was the day today? It was fun. It was productive and it was fun. Cool. Um, I'll see you guys on Wednesday. Peace. So, hey, it's Tuesday. Um, we could currently hear someone out in the hallway at the mall, like, pitching a bloody fit. So, uh, Screaming kids, man. we hear that sometimes. I mean, it's the mall, so they probably wanted something they didn't get. So, but yeah, it's Tuesday at the mall. Pretty quiet so far, other than the kid crying, mainly because it's torrential downpouring outside so customer flow has been a bit slow um i'm going through accessory ordering today um a few accessories we need i can see our kaiser capos great capo getting a bit low and then just a few like uh strings i can see our elixir stock is slipping so get that taken care of and uh what else we got going on i bought a couple used can you see this a couple used band instruments today so bought those used uh we'll send those out to dean i don't know if we ever talked about dean uh maybe tj went and picked stuff up on vlog before but dean dean's our band instrument repair guy he'll fix those up and then we'll sell them or rent them come next band season and then we got anthony so uh let me flip this camera around we'll talk to anthony all right <laughs> anthony so what do you got cooking right now we got this um, music at the mall class for preschoolers or pre-K, well, yeah, preschooler class. I'm just putting that in our system right now. Pretty excited. Um, so, hey, uh, next Monday is our first music at the mall class, right? Yes, it is. Absolutely. And I mean, I'm willing to take some ownership of this, but what else is happening? Like, the, so we scheduled our first class on the day of what? The day of the eclipse. It's yeah. gonna be the day of the eclipse. So he's acting like that's a good thing. I'm kind of excited. <laughs> we'll see if it's a good thing. We'll see if he's it's kids will be barking at the moon and they come in. <laughs> but they'll be it'll be a fun time. You yeah. know what I mean? Wouldn't be the first time you have kids barking at the moon, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, next Monday, first music at the mall. Uh, you should vlog some of it if you don't forget. For sure. You probably will, to... but you should do some. I, I've been doing, hey, I've been doing pretty good with the vlogging thing, you All right. know? All right, Anthony, tell them bye. I gotta run to Hubbard. Oh yeah, you do gotta run to Hubbard. Bye, I'll give you another update. Bye. So there it is. Blessing Band Instruments, the main instrument we uh, sell or rent here. Blessing Band Instruments, so trumpets, flutes, clarinets, trombones, alto sax, that kind of stuff. It's our first shipment of the year, so uh, hard to believe we're thinking about band season in April. Right, Brian? Can't wait to do a band camp. <laughs> School's right around the corner. Hey, good morning. So it's Wednesday morning. I've already dropped those amps off to be repaired. So the amps that Connor cleaned up the other day, um, dropped them off at case amp the the gibson amp the ampeg amp dropped those off to get fixed uh really cool guy i never met him his name's jim um really great shop i didn't film anything older guy i don't know how i'd feel about like some like relatively new dude like showing up like filming uh but cool spot uh maybe when i pick him up i'll ask him if he's minds if i film some stuff in there but really great shop so uh looking forward to having him get those amps done uh made a quick stop at panera grabbed a coffee and it's raining. It's been raining for days here. But let's uh, sneak up. I see JJ's up in the guitar shop. So uh, let's surprise him with a visit. Jesus. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> JJ, what's up? You feeling okay after that scare? No, I don't like you anymore. <laughs> what are you working? You sound like Anthony. What are you working on? We're trying to find drill bits because Uncle B hides. Okay. So we're trying to drill new neck holes for this thing. 
Is this not the neck that came on that guitar? Nope. Okay. It's a part scan. That would explain that. Let's get a quick shot. Put the tape on it so no wood flakes or nothing gets in the pickups. I like the like money sign looking <laughs> Squire S. That's Tom Delacroix for you. Oh yeah, that explains it all. So, uh, all right, cool. Uh, where's Brian? He said he'll be here in a couple minutes. He was paying his mortgage, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, well, we'll see him soon. Heck yeah. All right, man. Get back to making neck holes fit. We'll try. So TJ, yeah, um, we're switching up the old Spotify today. <laughs> Something I don't think we've ever done in this store ever. What's playing today? We've got Nickelback, and I'm not afraid to. I'm not ashamed to say it. Yeah. So today we're uh, Nickelback slaps. Today we're pumping the uh, Nickelback. The this is Nickelback on Spotify. On Spotify. I feel like this needs to land on like our Hubbard Music story somehow. What do you think? Boom. On Insta. Yeah. I'll do it right now. All right, get it, boy. TJ. Hi. What do you got there? Six and a half by 14 Black Beauty drum that I'm about to open up and put on display. Uh, we had one B-Stock version that um, that we had that we sold a while ago, and I've just been meeting to open this one up. So we're crack it open and put it there. We have space put it, waiting for it. Put it right there. So. Look at those classic maple drums. Lemon Oyster, Vintage Pink Oyster, Tetris Mod. We've got the, uh, the Raw Brass. That Raw Brass is cool. Couple of Universals hanging around still. Walnut Mahogany, and then we got the Super Lights. So, we got, we got a space waiting for that. stuff coming. We got space waiting for that Black Beauty. So, here goes yeah. TJ to open it up. In the background, we got Connor. What's he tightening up there? Connor, what are you doing? Assembling an iHexer. Oh, yeah. So, hey, here goes... Have you ever seen a bass player assemble a hi-hat stand? You have now. TJ, how's he doing? Um, oh, dude, that would be perfect if you were Shaq. Huh? <laughs> TJ, look. Oh, there you go, there you go. You're de shackifying it as we speak. Good, good. Honor, do you need help? No, you're you're on the right track. Stay down here. Yeah, put that there-ish, and then put that, that thing out at the top, call it a clutch. Yeah, put that down like halfway or so. Yeah, there you go. That's good enough for now. Good job, Connor. And I wasn't planning on getting this, but he's already... It, it's, it's like it's his birthday. Boom! I Man, that's a good looking drum. Black Beauty. I do really like these drums. So, the legendary badge. So, hey, we just found out that our sales rep from Ludwig watches our vlogs. So... Rick, if you're watching. Thank you, Rick. Sonny, if you're watching. We don't know if you watch. You should, Sonny, if you're not watching. Sonny, please watch. So, TJ, show me that drum once more now that's all the way out. There you go. We got a Black Beauty. We have one. If you don't have one, you should. This all right, dude. hurting my hand a little bit. I mean, it's not a dumbbell. Look, it's just working out. Get those biceps. No, if you want to work out, you got to lift the AC30. All right, get back to your drum, put it on display. Connor's working on that I had stand still. Connor, keep doing good. We'll check back with you. We're at the end of the night here on uh, Wednesday. You can hear some music going over there from the Eagle uh, Grill. They have a live band going, I think every Wednesday. So we've got that going. We got a lot of uh, blessing in right there. Connor, where's Connor at? Conroy. Hey, tell the people, tell the people how the day went. It went pretty good today. Yeah, got it's dark. You got a lot of, uh, can you tell about the new blessings? I mentioned blessing. We got some blessing instruments in, some flutes and some clarinets, some saxophones. Yeah. Um, pfft, what else happened today? Not a lot. Not, not really. <laughs> not a lot happened today. Have so, at the end, you know? yeah. So, um, yeah, not much, not much went on today. So, I don't know what just happened, but, uh, I don't know. It's very good very glary uh, i'll see you guys tomorrow hey thursday morning uh, and it's not raining so might not mean much where you live but it's been raining here for days it's still probably gonna rain today but it's not raining right now this will be the first time i've got to load with it not raining in a while so i'm pretty excited about that so yeah no rain right this second and uh, yeah we got some stuff to load i'll show you real quick might have cut that one a bit fast but uh, yeah we got some stuff to load i'm gonna load up all these blessing band instruments you guys saw come in the door the other day got some les paul cases heading out to the mall one of those really cool ibanez uh dreadnought bags i should show you that outside the bag and uh, we'll probably show you these at some point but uh, a couple camo fender bags which i think is super cool so yeah we'll get this stuff packed up head out to the mall and uh get the day going out there 
Hey, so we made it in, nothing fell, it all fit through the doors, shortened my trip. So got all that stuff in, ready to be priced. Um, Either myself or TJ will be taking care of that um, while we're getting the day going today. Probably TJ later, to be honest with you. I had to get on that Ludwig thing. So we talked, I think we kind of talked about it yesterday, but uh, not a big surprise, like we did Fender. We are a Ludwig dealer, we've been a Ludwig dealer. Love Ludwig. Um, and I haven't ordered yet this year. We had stuff and now it's starting to thin out and uh, time to load it back up. So uh, spoke with our rep Rick yesterday and uh he gave me all the details so today I'm gonna start putting the order together um yeah I'm gonna try to put it together just so you guys know like uh, you have options you could order all, all your stuff at once you could schedule it out to come however you want like once a month you could have some stuff come and some you, uh, you got some stuff come now some stuff come in May some stuff come in August however you want to split it up we need some stuff so I'll probably have it all come now but that's called scheduling so uh, your option is get all your stuff at once or schedule it out as needed. Um, we need some stuff now and later. So yeah, a uh, little insight to how the uh, Ludwig thing works. So I'm going to get started on that. And I got coffee. So start with some coffee and uh, get to work, do my homework. All right. It's my third third time trying to get this in between customers. It's been kind of slow, but ever since I set this camera up, they've been coming in. I'm about to shoot a quick video for social media about these Boss 50th anniversary pedals. Um, they did the 50th and the DS1, the SD1, BD2. I don't know what I'm saying beat the the model numbers. The blues driver, the super overdrive, the distortion. Um, but they always have this fancy like little 50th anniversary mark on them. And uh, we sold some, but we still have some left. I can't believe they're still here. So uh, I'm just going to make sure the people on social didn't forget. So you heard it before them. Well, technically they'll hear it before you because we got to edit this and put this on the, the vlog. But uh, they're still here. You should get one, same price. So hey, it's uh, middle of the day on Thursday and uh, handing the reins over to this guy. And he's got some inventory to be doing. We just figured out we priced all those Blessing Horns and Hubbard with last year's pricing. I don't, I don't know whose fault that was, but we're gonna fix that in Hubbard, but we're gonna do it, we're gonna price it. It wasn't any of our faults. I mean. We didn't have the pricing. I thought for sure that you were gonna blame me. No. <laughs> Because you didn't have um, the price sheet, so. But uh, we get, we do have the price sheet now, so we'll be pricing them properly and only pricing them once here at the mall today. So TJ will be uh, working on that. Um, I have to price them. I have to redo them tomorrow. I'll help you. And uh, yeah, that's it. What's going on with you? What'd you have for lunch? McDonald's. Okay. Yeah, so it's been, just so you know, it's been a weird day, like little bursts of customers, a lot of customers and no one. A lot of customers and no one. So we'll see what happens. So I think there's lessons tonight. Lessons always get the people moving. But it's not until 7. Okay. Well, they'll be moving at 7. 7 and 7.30. They'll be moving then. Okay. Well, you got stuff to do. You'll check back in with these guys. See you tomorrow. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. You should see him again today. And then I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, then you'll see both of us. All right. So Rob's left for the day. I'm going to start pricing all of this blessing stuff right here. So this box, those boxes over there are full of band instruments. So um, I think we've got saxophones in here. I think there's saxophones in two of these boxes. And then another one is full of uh, flutes and clarinets. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna put this down and uh, get to pricing. So here we go. left is to take all of these and all of those get them up on the shelf in the back so I'll do that and then uh, JJ will uh, will tag them tomorrow so I've got a couple other things I need to do there's some uh, fender cases and some gator cases in the back that I need to price um, and then other than that it's just uh, I think it's just customers and then other than that I will uh, check in with you guys in a little bit all right we're at the end of the night here on Thursday, it's a little warm in here. Um, I've got humidifiers filled um, to the brim pretty much, as much as they could be filled. Like I said before, JJ has to tag all of these cases. So he's gonna do that tomorrow or Saturday, whenever he gets a chance. I've got a used guitar down here that I have to bring to Hubbard store, as well as a uh, banish repair that has to go to Dean's on Saturday. I just took out some boxes. The boxes from all of these band repairs or band instruments. Let's see, there was one lesson tonight. 
Our teacher Pete had one lesson tonight, a uh, guitar lesson. Other than that, I mean, that's about it. It was a pretty good day today. So, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. What are you doing? Putting case tags back here. For what? Because TJ texted and said we had none. So we got to gotta make the store run right. You're a good man, JJ. Is that how yours, or did you just, just steal it today? I don't, I don't know. Man. It's going to be one of the last ones we have. It's a limited edition Bass Pro Shops Hubber Music hat. What's Tony doing? Tony's in the last one. We'll leave him alone then. Old Tony. What came in? Ernie Ball. Ernie Ball. And we got a Fender Rumble. Oh, straps. Oh, yeah. You can take him to the mall tomorrow? Heck yeah. All right. Big old bag. All right. So hey, it's Friday. Um, working through the day here. We got TJ busy typing away. What are you working on, T? I'm putting a bell kit back together, and I'm emailing old Marky Poo to get some stuff. <laughs> but, uh, to get some stuff for it. Uh, Marky Poo is his love name for Mark. So, um, mm -hmm. and bell kit he's working on. You can kind of see it back there. So putting that student bell kit together. So that's what's happening. Did you know that Outlook does tone detection on emails? No. Because I put, I was, ask, I was asking about a case, and I said, the one that came in is crap. And it goes, are you sure? This, this it set off a tone detection alarm. They're listening. They're listening. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Anyway. All right, that's it. All right, so yeah. So uh, it's Friday. It's <laughs> what's happening. I submitted a fender order. In addition to the stuff we still got um, trickling in, we just needed more stuff. So it's regrowing the brand. Figuring out what's selling, what we need more of. So we order some more guitars, some more amps. And we still have guitars and amps coming in. TJ, what do you... And picks. Yeah. So we've got some picks. Yeah. But we got more exciting guitar and stuff coming in. Um, yeah, so that's where we're at. We're fixing those band instrument prices. I did that. But he's fixing it. I did so. that one. All right. Baritone acoustic school. If you follow our social media. <laughs> I posted a video of Pete playing it and it sounds really good. Pete's one of our guitar teachers. Yeah, him. Yeah, Pete, Peter. Peter, pumpkin eater. So, um, it's Friday. It's about an hour left in the day. We'll see what happens. So that's what, we, what we've been cooking on <laughs> so far. It's Friday, TJ. If you wanna stay open late, you can. No, thanks. Okay. All right. We'll check back in, or if we don't, see you next week.